If the grin appeared forced, the grip was no doubt forceful. Donald Trump standing side by side with NATO allies for the cameras, but miles apart when it comes to what they're in Brussels to discuss. This agreement on trade uh, is serious uh, and my task is to try to minimise the negative impact uh, on NATO uh, from those disagreements. But trade and tariffs aren't the only source of disagreement. For the US president, the bigger issue is defence spending. So fierce is his criticism of those who don't commit at least 2% of their GDP, it's prompted the ones who do to talk up their contribution. The UK's commitment to it remains as steadfast as ever, and we show that, of course. We lead by example, and we're announcing today that we will be deploying an additional 440 personnel to NATO's resolute support mission in Afghanistan. I think that shows when NATO calls, the UK is one of the first to, uh, to step up. Direct as they may be, some believe Trump's tactics could have the desired effect. This is a real issue for the US president and um, something that the presidents in the past have always sort of looked at but never really sort of po properly pushed. And uh, perhaps Trump is the uh, sort of president, the sort of man to push this forward. Perhaps the biggest showdown of all, though, will be between Trump and Angela Merkel, who was quick to hit back at his accusation that Germany is a captive of Russia. Ich erlebt habe auch selber. I have myself witnessed parts of Germany under Russian control and I'm very happy that today we are unified in freedom as the Federal Republic of Germany. That's why we can say that we make our own politics and make our own decisions. Despite these differences, Trump is still expected to sign off on a deal to increase the West's deterrence of Russia, a country whose president he'll meet on Monday.